This is the third in a series of uh, revision um, vivas for the FRCS auth and in particular for hand surgery. Um, please be aware that there may be some operative images in the uh, presentation. Um, this is a, a CT scan of a gentleman's right wrist. Can you tell me what, uh, what you can see, what the abnormality is? That's right, it's a scaphoid non-union. Um, uh, tell me about the features of, of this non-union. It is. There's a humpback deformity, um, cyst formation, and the edges are uh, very sclerotic. Uh, if this patient was symptomatic and wished to have uh, surgery, um, tell me um, um, which surgical approach you perform. Would you go in through the front or from the back of the, uh, of the scaphoid? Next slide. Uh, this is a, um, a, a three-year-old child whose mother has noticed that the thumb is bent over. Can you tell me what the problem is? And can you tell me uh, what's likely to happen to this uh, 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 trigger thumb in a child? What percentage resolve completely by the age of three? So um, if the patient was now four and it hadn't resolved and it was still uh, fixed flexed and deformity of this 45 degrees and they were going for surgery, what would you uh, tell the mother of the risks and complications associated with trigger thumb surgery? Next slide. So this is a 62-year-old uh, uh, lady who presents with a uh, painful DIP joint and, uh, and uh, an area that keeps discharging. What's the diagnosis? So what, uh, what images would you like to get? Okay, and what, would, what might the uh, plain radiograph show? Now the patient has had an aspiration um, uh, previously, but unfortunately the, uh, the cyst has uh, recurred. What can you tell us the reason why it's recurred and what needs to be addressed at the time of surgery? This necrotic area of skin um, um, uh, is, is quite rare. Um, do you know any uh, ways that this could be um, uh, treated um, operatively? Have you ever seen a rotation flap? Okay, so uh, the patient progresses and uh, has ongoing pain and the joint is uh, severely degenerate. Uh, what treatment options might you uh, offer her? Can you tell me how you do a DIP joint fusion? Next slide. Uh, this lady's had a uh, tennis elbow and has had... Um, a complication from some of the treatment. Can you tell me uh, uh, what uh, complications she's had? How much steroid do you inject into a uh, tennis elbow? So conservative management has, uh, has failed. Um, uh, do you know any operations that you can perform for tennis elbow? And what would you do? How would you do the operation? This is a rugby player who was uh, involved in an injury and uh, after the game presented the physiotherapist telling uh, her that he couldn't uh, bend his finger over. What's happened and what's it commonly called? What are the options uh, for, this, uh, for this player? So he's really not keen on having this fixed. It's an important part of the season and wishes to leave it. In the long term, what might be a problem? How would you address that problem in the long term? Next slide. Describe these, uh, these nails to me. What abnormalities do you see? What underlying systemic disease might this patient have? This patient presents to clinic with a uh, lump. Can you tell me what the likely diagnosis is? What's that small area uh, of white uh, on the distal end of the, uh, of the lump? Tell me what an implantation dermoid is. Thank you.